Now that you heard my raw vocals with no effects, no editing, <laughs> let's have a quick listen to what we can do to adjust some of the sounds. Let's mute. Actually, we should listen, shouldn't we, to see what it sounds like um, before we go ahead. It's always a good idea to have a quick listen uh, of your take. Obviously, if I was recording, this wouldn't be the only take. There'd be many takes, <laughs> especially if I haven't sang it before. Well, I mean, maybe one or twice. Strangers in the night Exchanging glances Wandering in the night Okay, so it's a, it's all right, take. We'll do for now. I just want to get along and actually show you other things, the whole purpose of this recording, not my vocals. Um, so let's uh, have a listen to some of the different sounds we can use. The bass, uh, let's see if we can choose a different bass sound instead of... Uh, acoustic bass should be fine. But see if what other options we have. Bass, uh, finger, fretless, big... Um, hmm. Let's try fingered. Um, fingered bass. Nah, that's too funky. I think I'm gonna stay with... with the acoustic bass. Yeah, that's, that's much better. With the strings, we might be able to change the strings to get a different string sound, ensemble. Let's try 60s strings. Oh yeah. Yeah, a bit different to the other string. So we've got 60s string. And then we will have normal strings. Now one thing I want to show you, uh, you, you can go ahead and change any of uh, the instruments that you like. If you would have seen, all of the outputs uh, from the um, uh, TTS-1 uh, was coming out of this channel here, channel 13. The other three were empty, and I'll show you what I mean. So we only have a stereo output from TTS-1. I mean, in most cases, that might be fine if you want to have a quick one, but I will show you a way to separate some of the instruments to, so that they go into separate uh, tracks. So we should be able to separate it so the drums go into one track, so we'll have full control of the drums by adjusting its EQ and compression, and then bass guitar, might we might put it on 15, and maybe the melodies we might put it on, like the horns and, and, and tubas, might put it on channel 14, and then the rest of the instrument on 13, and then be able to adjust and control all of those sounds, rather than rely on just the MIDI uh, implementations of different uh, volume changes and, and, and so on. And to be able to do that, this is a very trick, and it took me a while to find out how to do it, but I'm gonna share it with you. What we do is we go into system. And in system, this is uh, the master tuning that you want to do. But there's a, another button called option. When you click, there we go. It has the four output shown here for each of the 16 tracks. Now, and we are using multiple outputs here, not just the stereo output. So we can quite easily say we want the acoustic bass to go in on channel 3. Then we want the drums to go on 4. Now what else we had? We also had the saxophone to go on 2. Um, and then the horns to go on 2. And the tuba to go on 2. So now we've got control of the melodies as such. Now, this is the trick. So this is where you're going to remember. The way we got it was... Um, I'll repeat it again, we go into system and then options and here we can separate all the different instruments to go to separate different output tracks. And um, if, if you're sort of wondering why, I will show you later on why it's a good idea to separate. So we close that and we close that and we close that as well. Now let's have a listen now. Ah, we have now different... All the tracks working. Uh, 
Okay. Remember, we did channel 14 as the melodies, tubas and, and saxophones. Uh huh. So now they separate. Or uh, we had 16 as the um, drums. So that's the drums being played. And then the bass. So we pretty much separated the whole arrangement into a subgroup of four channels. And then we can now adjust the volumes of them and apply effects however we like. So we can easily call this um, drums, uh, TTS1 drums. Apply some effects to the bass. We can use the mix strip uh, for it in play and let's add some um, compression. And let's. Now what we're doing is we're adding compression only to the bass instrument, not to the rest of them, so we can adjust it how we want it. Now because it can, it's an orchestra thing, um, you know, we can even add, let's say, some grid, some distortion. Maybe even a little bit of. I normally don't add any reverb to bass, but for MIDI sound, it's probably a good idea because there's no um, sort of um, space to it. So, very tiny um, space added to it, it will join to the rest of the instrument. So, be will sound like that it is part of the rest of the instrument. So um, let's have a listen to the whole lot and close that so we can adjust the volume. Obviously now the volume will be high and we can adjust the bass um, guitar's volume. Melody. Now we can turn this one down. And let's give it some... space for it. Let's have a quick listen. See that little bit of space, reverb. It really joins it together. So, and let's have a quick sort of play around with the drums as well. Um, let's add some compression to the drum. Pretty cool. Again, tiny bit of reverb so that it feels all joined together. gonna call that arrangement and again I'm gonna add a little bit of um, reverb space to feel all joined now that sounds so much better so how was that so as you can see you know we we haven't used any external sound modules everything is actually coming from cakewalk music creator 7 and the MIDI file we imported and then we even record my vocals. So let's, um, that was sounding all nice. Now my vocals are going to come in and ruin it all up. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, give my voice a little bit of, um, uh, I guess, uh, some compression. Uh, and we give some reverb as well and see how it actually sounds. No, I think 50% should be enough. We'll find out. Strangers in the night Exchanging glances Wandering in the night What were the chances We'll be sharing love Before the night Let's was some true. reverb 
Something in your eyes was so inviting Something in your smile was so exciting Something in my heart Now how's that? Told me I must have you Have a listen to this now Strangers in the night to I always like to record in mono, add the effect, then transfer the channel into stereo so that the effect that I apply, we get stereo effects. I will show you what I mean uh, if we go, um, just sort of move it there, have a quick uh, listen. Strangers in the night, that's in stereo. Exchanging glances, wandering in the night. What were the chances we'll be Sounds sharing more grand. love before the night was true? Strangers in the night, up to the moment when we said our first hello. Little did we know, love was just a glance away, a warm embracing dance away. And Ever since that night, we've been together, lovers at her side. Bit of EQ adjustment there. Forever, it turned out so right for strangers in the night. To finish things off and to go to the last part of this video, which is exporting in, into a WAV file. Uh, I have to, well, I'm going to assume that we are all happy with the, all the audio tracks, all the sounds that we selected in our audio takes, and we just done all the adjustments and everything else. Um, and we want to export. I'm just going to quickly um, sort of fade it in and fade it out. And that's the length. And I um, just assume we are all happy with our mix and everything without any spending any more time. Just going to save that. Okay, let's export. File, export, audio. Music. Okay, let's call it take one. Okay, so it's nearly done exporting and mixing it down. And let's have a listen. Just minimize that. Um, music, take one. Let's have a listen to see how it sounds. Remember, I did not do any mixing here, it was just raw. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. What were the chances we'll be sharing love? Obviously, here if um, you were recording, you would do a lot more editing, a lot more um, using uh, EQ Something and compression and so on to, and balance it all out obviously uh, but not in this case it was just a quick demonstration for you was so exciting something in my heart told me i must have you well that's how you can convert a, a, a midi song file into more beautiful sounding um, uh, recording of, uh, of a song obviously there's nothing stopping you adding more um, tracks MIDI tracks recording your own one and assigning uh, to the Cakewalk TTS one remember that we're only using few channels you still have 13 14 or, or yeah or, sorry uh, 14 15 and 16 you, tr you could add three more instruments in there if you really wanted to so um, you can even expand it with your own arrangement. Rearrange it if you like, because you can cut and paste the MIDI and create your own one. And um, if you enjoyed watching my video and you learned something from it, give me the thumbs up. That way I know that um, it was helpful for you. And uh, if you like, you can always subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. That way you will 
always kept up to date with any new videos I come up. And you can also visit my um, recordingstudio9.com website where all of these files will be available for download. Uh, and so you can play around with it and see what you can come up with, whether you can sing it. And let me know how you go uh, as well. I love to find out people um, you know, learning from uh, my video examples and doing their own. And do come back to me and let me know how you went. And if you have any other uh, questions, feel free to comment uh, below and I'm more than happy to answer them for you. And until next time, thanks for watching. Cheerio. Bye-bye.